Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be installing VirtualEnv Wrapper for Python 3 on a Mac. I'm going to assume you already have Python 3 installed. Open up a terminal window and type sudo pip3 install virtualenv wrapper. You'll be asked for your password, which should be the same password that you use when you log on to your machine. Note that normally you should never use sudo when dealing with Python projects, but in this one case we really do want to use it. Once the install finishes, type source wrapper.sh. This will set up some aliases and links and will give us a big heads up if something went awry. If you type make virtual env and then the name of a virtual env in your terminal window, you should get some text about installing Python. Once the virtual env has been created, virtual env wrapper will activate it. Next, you need to modify your bash profile. Your bash profile is a file in your home directory that's loaded every time you open up a new terminal window. If you want virtual env wrapper loaded every time you open a new terminal window, you're going to need to let macOS know by adding it to your bash profile. To do this, open .bash underscore profile in your home directory. I'm using VI here, but any text editor will do. If you're using a GUI text editor like Sublime or even TextEdit, any files that begin with a period are normally hidden. You'll have to look up how to reveal hidden files for your particular text editor or IDE. At the bottom of the file, add the text source wrapper.sh. Save and close the file. To make sure it worked, Open up a new terminal window and type make virtual env. If you see the help text, then you're all set. Depending on how your system is set up, Python 2 may still be the default Python for new virtual envs. If this is the case, you can tell virtual env wrapper to use Python 3 when creating a virtual env. First, find the path to Python 3 using the which command. Copy the path. Then, when creating a new virtual env, tell it to use that Python by adding the Python flag. And that's it. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments or track me down on Twitter.